at all times. Students must respect the guidelines set by all teachers. Unacceptable behavior, inappropriate classroom conduct, profanity, and lack of respect may result in detention, suspension, and or expulsion. It's so ugly, like seriously, no one likes it. Why do you even come to this school? You're fat too, like seriously, start working out. Did your mommy bring you to school today too? Mom and did she pick out those clothes? Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's so true. Those clothes are really ugly. Yeah, you should get a fashion designer because you need one. Yeah, where are your friends at? Just can you have not really? Yeah. Oh my god. Like seriously, you're really, really ugly. I haven't met anyone as ugly as you. You want the doctor. These two girls outside are bullying this other girl. Oh no. Alright. Let's this out. Ladies, we have a problem here? No, we're just talking how nice she is. Really? Because it seems like you guys are bullying this girl, and as you know, bullying is not tolerated in Beverly Hills High School. I suggest you take your stuff and you go on your merry way. Good. You okay? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I really like your sweatshirt. I really like it. Oh, by the way, do you want to have lunch with my friends today? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Wow, I love that you guys are respecting each other. This is really great. And this is basically how Beverly Hills should be. Students must refrain from any type of bullying, including electronic bullying that would be likely to cause body danger, physical harm, or disgrace to another student. Any student found guilty of bullying will be subjected to suspension and or expulsion. Also, they may be referred to the Beverly Hills Police Department. Yeah, I need your phone. I'm not on my phone. Well, the phones aren't supposed to be out at all in class. I'm not on my phone. You are on the phone. And it's out. If I can see it, I need to take it. It's not supposed to be out. I'm not even visiting. Can I have it back on You get it back on Friday. Where can I get it? You can get it from your house office. Thank you. Cell phones should be off during class time, unless it's a teacher's direction. If you use a device at an inappropriate time or place, disciplinary consequences will follow. Cell phones will be confiscated. Come on, let's go. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna have Unfortunately, we have to do some back clothing. Um, first of all, no hats on your head or hoodies over your head. Second, it's really inappropriate, that sweatshirt. You shouldn't have logos like that on your sweatshirt. Okay, sorry. It's you're cool. I understand, but it's not appropriate. We're not promoting that in this school. It's public school. No freedom of speech here, sorry. <laughs> Second, no undergarments showing through your shirt. And no skin showing either. Sorry. Okay. So that means I need to send you both to the assistant principal. They're going, that person is going to probably give you a change of clothes, which you're not going to like at all. They are probably the most disgusting things you've seen in a while. <coughs> and you could be served up to a day or even possibly five days suspension, depending on how many times you've invoked this rule. Sorry. So if you can head to your assistant principal, I'd really appreciate it. And please dress appropriately next time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Students who do not follow specific dress code rules 
and wear clothing that is inappropriate for school, including clothes that bears inappropriate logos, does not provide appropriate coverage, or detracts from the academic environment, will be sent to the office for appropriate attire. Administration will take disciplinary action. Consequences First infraction Student referred to the assistant principal for a change of clothes. Parents notified for a conference and a one-day student suspension. Second infraction. Student referred to the assistant principal for a conference and a five-day student suspension. Yeah. Alright guys, so we're going to do our graphing that I told you guys about yesterday. Can you guys get out all the supplies you got? You know, graph paper, some graph paper, some, maybe some colored pencils. Hey, we're going to wake her up. Where are we going? What's going on back there? Can I have a sharpener? Sharpener? Oh, why? Do you have a ruler? Yeah, here. Guys, when you guys come to class, make sure you guys have everything prepared. This shouldn't. Here. Here. I got a couple pencils here for you. A couple colored pencils there. You guys got everything else, right? No. What else do you need? We got Well, here. You know, I got a ruler there. I'll take that ruler. Sharpener? Man, you guys are just expecting me to provide everything. Yeah, here's a sharpener for you. <laughs> what else do you guys got? So, make sure you guys start bringing everything to class. I shouldn't have to carry all this and give this out to you. You guys have anything else taken care of? I need a pencil. You need a pencil? I just gave her a pencil. Oh, here, I think, you know, I'm all out. Here, any scissors in case you need scissors? What else do you guys need? Stapler. Stapler? Stapler? Man, you guys are lucky that I came prepared today. There you go. Here's a stapler. Um, I mean, graphing, we're working with mathematics, right? Graphing's all about math. So you guys got calculators? No. no My jeez. No, no, no. Well, all right. Well, we've got a calculator there. Um, this is all probably going to take more than one piece of graph paper. You guys, stapler, you got stapler, paper clips, you all good? All right. All right. Well, now let's go ahead and get, on, get some graphing done. No, nothing else, right? All right, you feel like I wasted half the period just trying to get you guys all ready. Make sure you guys bring everything tomorrow, all right? Thank you. All students must come to class every day prepared with necessary supplies and ready to learn. Do not expect others to provide supplies for you. Coming unprepared to class takes away from class time and your teacher may penalize you. Go! Thanks, I'll give you the money tomorrow. Uh, young ladies, this is a drug-free zone. There should be no drugs exchanged in this school. What, what are your names? Amina. I'm going to have to take you to the principal's office and call in the Beverly Hills police. We, we just cannot have that here, so let's go. Students must refrain from the possession or sale of drugs or alcohol on or off school grounds. When involved in any school activity or when on the way to or from home or school, the violation of district drug or alcohol policy will result in suspension from school, notification of the Beverly Hills Police Department, a parent conference, and possible expulsion. Walk in, breathe heavy breathing and cough so Mr. Body will think that we tried getting here on time. Okay. We're gonna walk in. <sighs> I'm so sorry we're late. We tried to get here on time. We ran here. So sorry. Uh sorry. I'm sorry. Late is late. You know that six tenths of a percent off your grade, right? But we tried getting here on time. We had a test in our last year. Ten minute passing period. Oh, I have to say, have a seat. Turn to the mat, get on what it is, what it is, what it is, what it is. Looking for. Oh. I don't know why she always wears. Hi, thank you. Are you just getting? Yeah, because I always am. Yeah. Sorry. You're very late. Why are you late? Um. Uh, really? What's your ID number? Um, one three three two zero. Wow. Do you realize how many tardies you already have to the same class? I know, but it was important. I, yes, I can see that it's important, but do you realize that every tardy is 0.6% off? 
you also have a couple of absences that aren't excused, like in the middle of the day, like period four. That's three percent up. I know, but like I had to go within my Okay, four. so there's no buts. So here's your unexcused tardy. You need to work on this because your grade is going to be affected by that, losing all the points. Okay, thank okay. you. Attendance ranks high on the list of priorities of the Beverly Hills High School faculty and staff. Students are expected to develop a strong sense of responsibility in this area so that attendance will not be a disciplinary problem. Unexcused tardy. Students are expected to be in class when the tardy bell rings. Tardy students cause classroom disruption. Penalties. Each unexcused tardy shall be counted as 0.6% deduction from semester grade. Teachers may assign detention or lower the student's conduct grade. Unexcused absence. Students are expected to attend all classes unless excused for a legally excused reason. Penalties. Each unexcused absence will be counted as 3.0% deduction from semester grade. Detention may be assigned by teachers for failure to follow attendance guidelines. For a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hippie. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. How was school today? Fine. Hey! Stealing is not tolerated in Beverly Hills High School or outside. This time I let you go, but next time you get in trouble by the police and the school. Um, I'm really sorry. Here, like, thank you for letting me go. Students must refrain from stealing in or outside of Beverly Hills High School. The violation of the stealing policy will result in suspension from school, notification of the Beverly Hills Police Department, a parent conference, and possible expulsion. Um, on number one, make sure you read the directions carefully and watch the timer so you know how much time you have left, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, go ahead and get started. Good luck, guys. Uh, uh, Mayan, are you sharing answers? Is that what I just saw? Shauna, let me see what you have. I just saw her copying right off of you. No, we just can't the But why do you have the exact same answer for number three? Do you have work to show that? No. Girl, I, I'm going to need you to stay after, after class today. Do you know what this means? No. Cheating on a test is a really big deal. It means you get a zero on the test and I have to write a referral which means you're going to have to go to the office and your parents are going to get notified. So I would definitely think about this before the end of the period and think about how you want to respond to this. I'm not happy at all. Cheating is not tolerated in Beverly Hills High School. First infraction. Teacher informs the parent. Referral to assistant principal for student and parent conference. The student's academic semester grade will be lowered by one letter grade and the student's conduct grade will be lowered. Second infraction in any court. Conference with assistant principal, counselor, parent, student, and teacher. Student will receive a failing semester grade. The student's conduct grade will be lowered. The student will be suspended. Third infraction in any court. Conference with assistant principal, counselor, parent, student, and teacher. The student will receive a failing semester grade and the student's conduct grade will be lowered. Student will be referred to Student Study Team or the Maple Counseling Center. The student will be suspended. Yeah,